Hi folks, here's a quick breakdown of this Mason McTavish hit that was originally called a five minute major and then reduced to a minor. So you can see here he comes in, he's angling the defender away and then he just puts a small hand on the back, not much there, not much force. There's really no push at all, no extension that much, there's really no drive. But the problem I have with it and why I'm glad it was called, McTavish makes zero effort to play the puck here. His stick is in the air the whole time. He's trying to guide the defender. He's trying to get that off shoulder. But if he just had a stick on the ice, steering and reaching in for that puck, if he was puck focused, this contact wouldn't happen at all. And see now that when the puck turns, he turns into the body because that's what he wanted to play the whole time. So it wasn't safe to hit. But he hit anyway because he already had that on his mind, which he probably wouldn't have done if he was looking for the puck here. Picture this play with McTavish with his stick on the ice and reaching for that puck. Do you think he drives it all into there? I don't think so. So I'm glad it was called a minor penalty. I wouldn't do anything about it supplementary discipline-wise. I wouldn't have called the major. I'm glad it was reduced to a minor. But I know there's people out there that were confused as to why this was called at all. And to me, that's why. Because he just made no effort to play the puck and, and sort of forced that player into the boards when it was reasonably an option to not do that. So again, it's habits. If you're puck focused, it, it just controls the safety of the game.